story. And yes, I look like Macklemore. So now that you've gotten that out of your system, I want to talk about a Facebook page that is really awesome and I am so happy to be a part of. It's called Hollis Eve Co. Clothing Resale. Um, basically, these two sisters, they go consignment and thrifting and they find really awesome items and they resell them to the general public. And they're super awesome. They're like, we get along so well. We have so many things in common, which is just uncanny, and I love it. And we um, kind of had this business thing going on where they wanted me to, um, what do you call it, just kind of like, not necessarily promote, but um, just talk about like fashion and body image and stuff and uh, share things onto their page, which I'm totally cool with. And I've actually already been starting for the past couple days. I did go without internet for about a week though, so, which really sucked because they asked me to like help out like this past Monday and I wasn't able to because my internet connection was like cut. It was done. So basically, I'm, I was broke and I couldn't afford the bill. So, um, luckily we were able to, uh, Ground up some money and we're able to get that back on and everything's fine now. Don't worry, I'm not dying and, you know, we're not, you know, totally poor or we're not eating or something. We're good. It's just, uh, you know, times are tight. Shit happens. Let's move on. And, um, so yeah, I was really sad and I was so upset because they wanted me to help out and, like, you know, talk and, you know, share articles and stuff on their page, and I wasn't able to, like, uh, like we had agreed, and I was really upset about that, so I'm really sorry, guys, about that, like, I, uh, you know, I know you guys were fine about it, and you said that was cool, but still, like, I felt really bad about it, and I wanted you guys to know that, like, I really take it seriously, like, I find, I try to find as many pictures, and of, like, really awesome outfits, and, articles I see like on fashion or body image um, particularly I saw one not too long ago about a one of the very first wheelchair models which I thought was awesome in itself first off the girl's gorgeous and uh, she's like paralyzed from the waist down but like they had some really cool photographs I didn't they didn't really show too many of the photographs but the story of like how um, she was discovered was really nice so, um, I thought that was cool. I shared that on there, and um, I'm going to continue to do so. So, please, please, please check them out. I plan on putting a link down below, and hopefully, you know, I'll just put their name up and stuff. They're really easy to find, so it's fine. And they're constantly posting, like, really beautiful items that they're reselling and just fun stuff. So, totally check them out. It's awesome. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff, um, craft ideas for my daughter's birthday party that's coming up. And yes, I shaved my head. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I haven't really told all my friends about it yet, so here's what it looks like. I probably would look a little more edgy or something if I had makeup on, but I... I'm not going anywhere, and it's kind of, like, hot out, so I don't really want to, like, melt my face off for no good reason. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of crazy. And initially, me and my husband just kind of buzzed right here, and it looked horrible, but we didn't want to continue because, like, our initial thing we were going to do, we were going to buzz and then go back, but uh, when we did that initial buzz, it looked really bad, and we were like, maybe we should just cut our losses and, you know, leave as is. But I'm kind of that person who's like, let's go bake or go home. So I went ahead and we did the back of my hair, too, and, like, a little bit more on the sides. And it's not my favorite. I, I'm i not upset with it. Like, I'll rock it as best I can. Um, but, yeah, it's not, like, my favorite hairstyle. I think I'm just going to go back to the regular short. Although, once this part grows out long enough to where I can kind of pull that out, I was thinking about trimming the rest to kind of fit in doing like a Mia Farrow in the 60s kind of kind of thing so we'll see um but yeah <laughs> not my favorite look I I mean let's be honest I totally look like Macklemore I really do uh like I don't really have like dark eyebrows so I look like I have a wide forehead and and I, I look like Macklemore 
It's it's pretty sad and it's true. My husband didn't believe me because he didn't know who Macklemore was and I showed him a picture and he's like, oh, yeah. He thought it looked like Miley Cyrus and I was like, no, 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 no. Her hair is like way longer and uh, she's she's got like her natural brown on the sides and then the bright blonde. You like some, in most pictures she does. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, you need to see the other one. It's so much worse. <laughs> I was like, oh, she looked like a man, baby. But yeah, whatever. It's cool. I'll, I mean, it's just hair out of grow. It'll grow back. So I try not to like freak out about it. Initially I was just like, what did I do to my head? And then now I'm just kind of like, whatever. I'll figure it out. So that's what I've been doing, <laughs> talking about fashion and shaving my brain. But uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. That's, that's, this is kind of like an update video, I guess. Um, I do plan on um, doing more with my daughter's birthday party coming up. Um, I'm totally going to do a music video for it. I cannot flip and wait. There are so many awesome things that I'm going to do with it. It's just, it's so exciting. I'm basically going to, like, try and get all the other kids to dress, um, as long as they dress funky, I don't really care. Like, I was just going to suggest bright colors and crazy patterns, because you really can't do wrong. It's a Mad Hatter party. I mean, come on. And then I was going to uh, face paint animal faces, like woodland creatures, like foxes and, like, a hedgehog or um, a bunny rabbit, you know, like, things like that. And the kids' faces, so they kind of look like animals, um, kind of like in Wonderland. And then Nora's going to be Mad Hatter, so it's going to be so exciting. I'm so excited. Like, I asked her what kind of color she wanted to do. I was like, do you want to do, like, green like the cartoon? I was like, do you want to do, like, kind of red and orange and purple like they did in the Tim Burton version? And there's this, uh, I guess it's a show. Um, but it's like a whole new doll series called Ever After High, and it's kind of like Monster High, but it's like, um, Grim Fairy Tales version, and, uh, it's like all the characters' children, like Snow White's daughter named Apple White, and one of the characters was Maddie Hatter, or Madeline, but everyone calls her Maddie, and that's supposed to be the Bad Hatter's daughter, and she loved love that character. She got the Barbie, or the doll, for Christmas, so she was, like, super geeking out about it, and, um, so that's, that's where the whole party came from. She really wanted to do that. She wanted to be that character, so we bought her a top that kind of looked like it, and uh, got thrifting, and then I was going to buy the skirt to go with it, and then, um, just get her some, like, funky flip-flops and, like, tie ribbons on it and stuff, and, like, we're going to do crazy stuff with her hair and get her, like, a little... I wanted to try find... I, was, I don't know if I can, if I will be able to. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll be able to find it. Like, a headband with those little top hats on them, because that would be perfect. It would be absolutely perfect. If there was a teacup version, oh, my God, that'd be even more amazing, but I really don't think I'm going to find that. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, I'm in my kid's bedroom, and I can see out the window, and there's this dude in my neighborhood who is, like, such a bum. And what I mean by bum is that, like, he, I'm pretty sure he just walks around the, the neighborhood bumming cigarettes. It's just, like, really, dude? Really? I mean, yeah, they're expensive, so why you taking everybody? I don't smoke, but my husband does. And, um, yeah, like, every time Andrew goes outside, that guy's there, and he's like, he acts like they're best friends, like, hey, we're totally cool friends, Him, hey, can I have a cigarette? Like, just recently, Andrew finally, like, I don't know, he just, he hates being a bad guy, he hates, like, dumping on someone's dreams, so he was just like, he used to always give him a cigarette, but we've been so low on cash, and stuff like that, and it's just rude, I mean, who is, like, we don't even know this guy, he's just kind of a creeper anyway, and, like, the only time, like, like, well, actually, every time this guy comes over to, like, talk to us, he always asks for a cigarette, I'm like, you can't, he's very obviously a mooch and doesn't want to be your friend, he just wants your shit, and it's just, it's pretty pathetic, actually, and he's just kind of... Ugh. And he completely ignores me. 
which that's like a huge pet peeve of mine when it's like oh the husband's here I'll talk to the husband because the wife obviously can't have any interesting qualities what sense would that make <laughs> sexism but anyway um yeah I hate being I hate being ignored just cause I got lady bits you know whatever they're just missing out on all the fun. Well, last time he came over to bum a cigarette, I kind of threw it in their face. I was like, well, you know, maybe you guys should quit smoking, and then you won't have to buy any, because it's so expensive. And then you, you wouldn't have to mooch off anyone anymore. <laughs> That's just me being a dick. But it was worth it, because that guy's coming off that. Anywho, enough about that. Um, so yeah, her birthday's coming home. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to a wedding next month which I'm excited about because I get to see my sister. Is that mean? Is that kind of mean? I love my cousin who's getting married and it's really sweet. But, you know, we're not like besties. So uh, the main reason why I'm going is because my sister who lives in Indy is going to be there too. And it's actually on her birthday, which is crazy. So uh, I was going to get not only a gift for the bride and groom, but for my sister as well. Cause I'm so, 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 so fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get her yet, but it's going to be cool. I was thinking about something like for her apartment, for her and her boyfriend, or something. I don't know. I was gonna find something cool. And I came up. Well, I mean, I've I've been doing this for about a year now. Like every wedding that I'm invited to, I do the same gift, and it is awesome. Like I don't know anyone who wouldn't like it, um, because like family members and stuff always get the bride and groom, what they really want. Like, their closest friends, their grandparents, they always get them the really big, awesome stuff that they really want for when they move in together or, you know, all the gifts they really want as a married couple. So I do a really simple, really tasteful, and a really cute gift. I get, like, a little tote or a basket, fill it up with pasta sauce and um, a little pasta thing, um, like a little bag of, like, pasta. I used to try to find, like, curly or, you know, like, not regular spaghetti because, you know, make it a little bit fancy, I guess. And then I throw in, like, a dessert of some kind, whether it be, like, cookies or whatever. And then I usually try to find, like, like a bag of trail mix or just, I don't know, little things like that. And then I hand make a card, um, basically just saying, like, here's a cute little pasta dinner for when you guys you guys have your first um, meal you can make together as a married couple because it's really sweet it's personal they you know and who doesn't love food and who doesn't love a pasta dinner I mean come on everybody likes that shit and if they don't like it they can give it to somebody else but you know what I mean like because everyone's like let's get them a blender and then they end up having like eight blenders I'm like nobody <laughs> I have a blender and I don't even freaking use that thing so just like I always try to think outside the box and for a long time I didn't never know what to get people and I hate registries because a lot of the time people don't go by registries so someone already bought something for it but didn't put it on the registry and I can't always afford to go to the places that they register at because a lot of them do like you know Bed Bath and Beyond and all this stuff and I'm like seriously how many freaking coconut candles do you really need so I just do the pasta dinner because it's so easy and you can kind of personalize it you know depending on the things you get or you know if like if you know like one of them has like um like a food allergy or something like that you can you can get them something special you know according to them and I think it's really nice, you know, who wouldn't want a nice little pasta dinner to make with their, you know, husband or wife for the first time? Like, that's always fun. Um, I would have been really pleased with something like that. And uh, I think it's a really good idea because everyone, anyone can do it. I usually go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I get those gift cards because my husband works at the warehouse. So they have really great individual packaged things for like pasta dinners and other snacks and knickknacks and stuff like that and it, they usually range between like $2.99 to like $8.99 depending on like the size and how much and you know brands and stuff like that so um 
if that sounds like something awesome that you would want to do for like a wedding, please go for it. Honestly, like I try to share this with as many people as possible because it solves so many problems. Because you go, you know, you don't want to get them something they wouldn't like, or so you always feel like you have to leave the receipt because they're like, ugh, what if they already have one, or what if they don't like it, and you just like, what do you get people? Baby showers? I'm still, I don't really know. <laughs> I've only been to a few baby showers, um, the past few years, and a couple of them I, I couldn't even make, but the ones I do make, I don't ever really know what to get them. I usually just try to think, well, because you have to find out first if they're going to breastfeed or bottle feed. Um, although it is always good to have both, just in case. Um, you also need to find out if they're going to use diapers or cloth diapers, because uh, cloth diapers is actually, you know, pretty popular now. And um, I personally, but, nee, it's not for me. But um, it really does save on a lot of money, so I can see the the benefits in it. And you know, they put like a lot of napkins and, well, not napkins, but like um, almost like special pads or something on the inside, so they don't soak through so quickly. Um, but I don't know. I mean, kids are crazy. Once they get really mobile, you kind of need to switch them to regular diapers, just because they're all over the place and they're kind of crazy. Kids are crazy. So basically. That's what I've been doing. So if you have any ideas on what a, like a great gift for like a baby shower is, I am not, I'm not going to anyone anytime soon. But I mean, I'm sure I'll be invited to some eventually. So uh, you know, send those ideas my way. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And uh, I hope this video was fun. And um, please check out Hollis Even Co. They're great girls. Great gals. I don't want to say girls because they're not like children. They're gals. They're great, great ladies. Ladies sounds kind of old. They're fantastic women. There you go. Check it later. I'm so awkward. I'm sorry.